You first want to grab eight five gallon paint stir sticks. These come in a three pack from Home Depot. And I did just begin aligning them right next to each other. And I also grabbed some of these one gallon paint stir sticks you could also get from Home Depot. And I'm going to be using the smaller paint sticks to hold the five gallon paint stir sticks together. I am using some of this Fix All Adhesive Glue. It's a great substitute for E6000. You can find that at Dollar Tree. And then I also am using some of these large craft sticks just to fill in some of those gaps that the paint sticks can't glue onto. Next, I'm just grabbing a red Solo cup and I'm going to be mixing some brown and black acrylic paint. You wanna have more brown paint than the black paint. Add just a little bit of water. Go ahead and give this a nice stir. And this is just watering down those acrylic paints. So that way, it creates almost a wood stain without using any of those harsh chemicals that are inside of wood stain. So I just painted the entire sign along with two extra one gallon paint stir sticks and go ahead and let that dry. I then am using some petroleum jelly. I do have a specific brush used only for my petroleum jelly and I'm just applying this all throughout the sign as well as those other two one gallon paint stir sticks and then going right on top of that jelly and over the sign using waverly chalk paint in the color plaster just kind of going back and forth with my paintbrush it does not have to be perfect let that completely dry and then what i am doing is just scraping some of that chalk paint right off now you could also use a sanding block and this is just going to leave you with this beautiful weathered wood finish. Now I'm just finding a good placement for those two one gallon paint stir sticks on the larger sign. Using that same mixture of the adhesive glue and hot glue, I am just gluing those right down. Next, I did end up using my Cricut machine and I did just make a stencil. Now, if you do not have a Cricut machine, I am pretty sure Hobby Lobby carries something similar to this stencil. So you could go ahead and just pick that up and it'll create almost the same thing. So I'm just placing the vinyl stencil right down, making sure that it is completely adhered to my surface. Just peeling off that transfer tape, smoothing it out with my fingers. Again, I wanna make sure that there are no air bubbles or anything like that that will create bleeding and then with a cut up sponge that I got from Dollar Tree and a very small amount of black acrylic paint I just began dabbing that paint all throughout the opening of that stencil and look at how cute that is next I'm using these eight inch wired frames these come in a two pack from Dollar Tree and then also using these foam eggs also came from Dollar Tree and then two different acrylic paints one is in the color moccasin brown and one is in latte so I am just painting these eggs this did end up taking about two coats for each color and as always, you want to dry the first coat before going on to the second coat and then allow everything to dry. Look at how perfect those are. Then go ahead and grab those wreath frames. I'm just going to apply some Spanish moss right inside. And then go ahead and start placing those eggs where you want them. So they didn't really stay put, so I did end up hot gluing them onto the Spanish moss afterwards. And you could always add more Spanish moss if you would like. I kept mine pretty thin amount of the Spanish moss. Go ahead and grab that other frame, put it right on top of the eggs. And then this chicken wired ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby. And I just began wrapping it all around the wreath frames. And I like this because it's just going to hold everything together, especially that Spanish moss. I hate when that falls out. And then I just glued the edge of the last piece right onto the back of these frames. I then got these 
metal hooks from Amazon. I just started screwing it in into the middle of that sign. There that is. And use any ribbon or fabric of your choice. And I just tied that around the frame and just used that hook to hold on to that wreath. And look at how adorable this came out. I just love it. And I had so much fun creating it. I really hope this inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.